Okay, we're here to finish up day two, and we've got another one of these drunken teenage dude bros ready to testify. Let's get started. Who is the next witness? Oh, we'll call Landed Lawyer. Please read the testimony you are allowed to give in this matter. Shall we have the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will be done? Yes. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Smesta, always state your name for the record, please. Landon Wire. Uh, how do you spell your last name? W E Y E R. How old are you? 19. Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I play football at UMD and go to school there, but I'm in the process of transferring right now. And by UMD, do you mean University of Minnesota Duluth? Yeah. Where do you live when you're not a student up in Duluth? Uh, Stillwater, Minnesota. How do you live at home with your parents? Yep. Um, were you familiar? Were you familiar with a person named Isaac Schumann? Yep. How did you know Isaac? Uh, we've been friends. We were friends since I was like seventh grade. You described your relationship as close. Yes. Do you recall uh, the day of July 30th, 2022? Yes. Were you with Isaac that day? Yes. Uh, were you with him on the river when he was killed? Yes. <clears throat> were you part of the group uh, that had met at Stillwater High School and rode over with Hit Alex Bang's uh, vehicle to River's Edge to rent tubes? Yes. Um, were you with the group the whole day? Yes. Do you remember what time you got on the river? Well, what time? I do not. Right. Um, were your tubes uh, tied together? Yes. Uh, did that create one big raft? Yes. Were you all sitting on the tubes? Yes. As you were going down the river? Yes. Um, did you have any alcohol to drink? Yes. What did you personally have to drink? Uh, a couple beers and maybe a couple shots. Hey, what kind of shots did you drink? Uh, Tito's. Is that a vodka? Yes. So far, this is the first kid to actually admit that he drank vodka. Did you have any, uh, use any other substances? Uh, we also smoked. I wouldn't say you smoked. Is that referring to the marijuana? Yes. Um, did you see Isaac Schumann using any mar marijuana that day? Uh, I, I don't remember. Despite the alcohol you drank and the marijuana you used, do you have a recollection or a memory of what happened that day? Yes. At some point as you were going down the river, did you have uh, contact uh, with the defendant, Mr. Mew? Yes. Do you know whereabouts that was on the river? Uh, towards the end. Do you remember any landmarks being in the area? Um, not really. Right, were you, have you had, had you ever been on the river before that day? Yes. <clears throat> um, when you first saw Mr. Mew, what did he appear to be doing? Uh, he was standing in short water. These kids can't even speak English. It's shallow water, not short water. Um, with the goggles and a snorkel. All right. Did you ask him or anybody in your group ask him what he was doing? Um, said something along the lines of, yeah, what, what, is, what are you doing? Okay. Now, did he answer? Um, did you hear him answer, I guess? Not right away because we were too far away. All right. As you got closer to him, did he say what he was doing? Um, he mentioned something about little girls. You sure about that? Do you know how close you were to him when he said that? Not necessarily, no. All right. Um, at some point, did Jawan uh, Cockfield uh, call him some names? Yes. You're, are you aware that Jawan Cockfield had been recording what happened? Um, at the time, not necessarily, no. All right. Have you seen that video since this happened back in 2022? Yes. All right, I'm gonna play the first portion of the video and ask some questions about it. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Landon, do you recall um, this moment on the river back in 2022? Yes. What is Mr. Mew doing in that portion of the video we just watched? Uh, looks like he's about to reach over me and stop to grab our tubes. Are those your legs in the video where we're stopped? And I guess the timestamp is four seconds. Uh, four, at the four second mark. Yeah. Uh, are you sitting next to uh, Jawan? Yes. Um, does Mr. Mew come running up to where you are sitting on the tubes? Yes. 
does he grab at the area where your legs are? Yes. Did he physically touch your legs? Direction leading. Sustained. Did Mr. Mew make any kind of contact with anybody on the tubes? Uh, I believe when he was reaching over, he touched me a little bit. All right. Can you play it? We're going to continue the video from all four. Whoa. 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 That portion of the video, um, what do you do when he comes up and grabs onto the area where your legs are? Uh, I was just scared, just got up. Did you bail out of your tube? Yeah. <clears throat> Did you have some concerns about what he was doing when he came up and reached towards you? Objection leading. Overruled. Uh, yes, I was scared. Did he say anything as he came running up to you? I, I don't remember. All right. Did he give you any kind of explanation for why he was grabbing at your legs? No. <clears throat> Did you have any adults with you in your group? No. Everybody in your group 17 at the time? Yes. After he grabbed onto your tubes, did you see what he did next? Do you remember? I don't remember. All right. At some point, um, did he take several steps away from your group? Um, not, I don't remember. Okay. Do you, did you say anything to him as he was interacting with you originally? Uh, I, don't, I don't necessarily remember. Can you keep your voice up, please? I, I don't remember. All right. Do um, you know whether you called him any names? Um, I mean, I, I might have said that he was a uh, pedophile or something like that. Um, did you swear at him at all? Uh, no. Uh, did you threaten him? No. At some point, did another group on the river come over to see what the heck was going on? Yes. Did you know any of those people? No. <clears throat> Um, were they uh, older than you, if you know? Uh, I didn't know, but they appeared to be adults. And what did you see happen when the adults came over? Um, they, had, they had been saying the same thing we were saying, telling him to uh, leave us alone and go away. Right, and did you ever see him leave? No. Um, at some point, do you recall... Oh, laughing at him? Yes. And why were you laughing at him? Um, once more people came, I felt a little bit more comfortable and with the uh, adults being around. Um, so I was in, I felt more comfortable. Did you ever hear Isaac Schumann say anything to Mr. Mew that you recall? No, not that I recall. All right. When the other group came over to check to see what was going on, do you remember... Uh, the, the, the gender of the folks that came over initially? Uh, both boys and girls. At some point, did you see the girls having an argument with Mr. Mew? Yes. Um, do, you, do you have a memory of that? Uh, yes, they, I remember she was telling him to leave us alone and go away. All right. Do you recall where you were standing at the time they were having that conversation with him? Uh, I was standing in front of um, him next to Jawan in the video. You were, do you have an idea of how far away you were? Uh, probably feet away. All right. At some point, did you see uh, Mr. Mew um, react physically to these women that are yelling at him? Yes. What did you see him do? I saw him strike her. Okay, which one did he strike, if you remember? Um, she had blonde hair. She was standing right in front of him. Okay, did you know him at all? Or know her at all? I did not know. Um, did you see which hand he hit her with? Um, not necessarily, no. I think it was his right hand. All right. Did you see whether it was a closed fist or a open palm? I did not. I mean, did you see whether he had a, a knife in his hand at the time that happened? No. All right. Um, after he punched the blonde woman, what happened next? What did you see happen next? Um, I saw um, him get punched after and then... I saw people stabbed. All right. When, when Mr. Mew got punched, did he go down in the water? Yes. Did you or any of your guys jump on him, hit him, kick him while he was in the water? No. Um, how many people did you see actually hit Mr. Mew when he was in the water? 
Uh, I only saw him get hit when I for the, f the first initial strike. All right. At some point, did he get up out of the water? <clears throat> yes. Um, did you notice at that point if he had a knife in his hand or not? No. Um, <clears throat> eventually, did you realize that there were some people? Did you, did you see some injured people eventually? Yes. Do you know how they got injured? Uh, the first thing I saw was someone holding their uh, stomach. It's the first thing I saw. Did that cause you concern? Uh, yeah, that was very traumatizing. Did you uh, flee the area? Uh, I just, I was standing there for a while and then I ended up going further away next to the tubes. In this video, do you see two people? Yes. One in the foreground, one in the background? Yeah. Um, which one, is one of them you? Uh, yes, I'm in the background. All right. Um, can you estimate how many feet you are away from the person in the foreground? Sorry, what? How, how far away are you from the, the person that's in the blue shorts there? I'd say maybe 10 feet. Stop it there. Landon, do you see Mr. Mew uh, in this frame? Or at least his arm? Yes. Uh, do you see if he's holding anything in his hand? Uh, looks like there could be a knife in his hand there. Had you moved from your previous position that was shown in uh, 2891 where you were standing? I, I don't remember. All right, you didn't, do you remember rushing up towards him or doing anything like that? No. Um, did you ever lay a hand on him? No. Did he ever lay a hand on you, other than when he grabbed onto your tubes? I don't believe so, no. Did you ever get close enough to him where he could have done that? Yes. At least in this video, this part of the video, you were, uh, I think by your estimate, about 10 feet away. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> At some point, did you realize that uh, Isaac had been stabbed? Yes. How did you know that? Uh, I believe Jawan screamed out his name and, and I looked and saw. Were you with Jawan um, by the tubes later on in the video? Yes. You heard Jawan call out? Yes. Did you go to where Isaac was? Eventually, yes. Did you see that he was wounded? Yes. What did you see? Uh, I saw cut in his chest. <clears throat> Did uh, you or other folks in your group try to assist him? Uh, yes, um, Juwan and Owen. Owen had his hands on the wound and Alex was holding him up. All right. Did you eventually move him over to the shore? Yes, that was on the shore when they were doing that. Um, at some point, did some other folks stop to help you guys? Yes. Did they provide care to him, medical care? Yes. Prior to Mr. Mew punching the blind blonde lady, did you see anybody strike him in any fashion? No. Let me ask you this. Did you have a knife that day? No. Did you ever see anybody within your group with a knife that day? No. Did you see a knife on anybody that was involved in this incident? No, not until I saw that uh, people were stabbed. I, didn't, I never saw anybody have a knife. Did you see where Mr. Mew went after he was done stabbing folks? No. Um, at some point, was Isaac taken off the river by uh, medical personnel? Yes. Did you go with, with him, follow him? Uh, yes, I, I was. Yes. Did you, was Isaac first taken up to the, um, the road near the bridge? Yes. Uh, did you speak to uh, any police officers uh, while you were still near the river? Do you remember? Yeah, I don't remember, no. Um, was Isaac taken to the hospital? Yes. Did you go to the hospital with him? Yes. Uh, do you remember speaking to a police officer at the hospital? Yes. Uh, did you tell him what happened? Yes. What you saw? Yes. Do you still remember the, um, the face of the person who did this? Yes. Do you see him here in the courtroom? Yes. Can you point him out? See what he's wearing? Yes. Can you say what he's wearing? Uh, he's wearing a suit, a uh, blue suit with gray pants. And Nothing further.
Mr. Trophacy. Uh, so, Mr. Weyer, you are, uh, I want to make sure I got this right. Two of the six of you that were the victor that day are now college football players. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cockfield plays college football, and so do you? Yes. Okay. Then what position do you play, sir? Uh, safety. Okay. Um, and how big are you? Um, 5'11", 180, uh, 7 pounds. And you indicated uh, on direct examination that you had been consuming alcohol that day, is that right? Yes. And you had been using marijuana? Yes. Okay. You were asked by officers questions about your drinking and, and how much you believe you had to drink. Is that right? Do you remember that? Yes. All right. <laughs> and you were asked that um, by officers in comparison to what Isaac had been drinking that day. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And you had said that, uh, in your opinion, Isaac was the least drunk person out there, right? Yes. Okay. So you believe, in your own mind, that you were more intoxicated than Isaac, right? Uh, I believe that Isaac seemed to be composed. That's why I said that he seemed to. So to answer my question, do you believe that you were more intoxicated than Isaac? I don't know. Do you think you had drank about the same as he drank? I, I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. Okay. Now, you just testified on direct examination that I'm going to talk to you about the first contact you have with Mr. Mew. Okay. Um, that first contact, you testified that he's standing in shallow water, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys are asking him questions. We were saying something along the lines of, uh, why is he standing in shallow water with snorkels on? What is he doing? Yes. Okay. And your answer was, uh, today, he told us that he was something about little girls, right? Yes. Okay. You also never mentioned that to the police, do you? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember whether or not you told the police that this gentleman was looking for little girls. You don't have any recollection of whether you told him that. I believe I said that, but I, I don't remember. So you believe under oath today that you you did tell someone that? Uh, I object, Your Honor. He says he doesn't remember. Mm. Overruled. Let's clean it up. I, I don't remember. I thought I saw it to the, said it to the cop at the hospital. I'm sorry, I missed that last part, sir. I thought I said it to the cop at the hospital, but I do not remember. If I told you what you said to the cop at the hospital wasn't that he was looking for little girls, but rather, I can't even tell you what he was saying. He said something about little girls, but I couldn't recite exactly what he said. You'd agree that's not what you tell the police. What you tell the police is he was saying stuff. I can't tell you what he was saying. Right? That's what you tell the police, though. Right? That's what it says. And you here, well, let me ask you this. Um, Mr. Cockfield acknowledged that your group was antagonizing Mr. Mew. Would you agree with that? I object, Your Honor, to use some other witnesses' testimony. It's it's a statement. It's a statement. Do you believe you were antag your group was antagonizing Mr. Mew? I believe that we said things to him. Well, we all know you said things to him. Did you say things to him to antagonize him? I don't know. That's Calling him a raper and a pedophile and a predator. You would say those are things to antagonize someone, yes? Ata um, yes. Okay. And to your knowledge, he's by himself, right? Yes. Okay, so this, and you see that he's a little bit older and a little bit out of shape, right? Yes. Okay. And your group, you've already said, has at least two college football, future college football players in it. And you were scared at that point? I was a 17-year-old kid. I was scared. So the question is, the answer is you were scared? Yes. Okay. And you were scared of what physically could happen? Yes, at the time. He was much bigger than me. Okay. And we've 
heard on the tape that uh, someone says, you've got 10 seconds. Do you recall saying that? I do not. Do you recall someone in your group saying, I do you've not. got 10 seconds? I do not. Okay. So I think you told the police that once Mr. Mew comes over, you'd agree he comes over to your tubes, right? Yes. Okay. And do you remember that he had a snorkel in his mouth at one point? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I just remember he had one. Okay. And he then walks around your tubes. Is that true? I don't remember. You don't remember. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember him leaving your two, where your tubes were and walking what would be downstream a little bit? Do you remember that? I do not remember that. Do you remember him turning his back to your group? Do uh, you remember that? I do not remember that. Do you remember your people in your group approaching Mr. Mew? I do not. Can I ask you, what do you remember about that? About? About that particular part of the, the incident. Do you remember anything about it? I do. Okay. So after he walks around your tubes, what do you remember? I remember that we walked away and then people came to us and then we were standing in front of him and I'm standing by my tubes. We're all standing by our tubes in front of you and uh, people were talking to him. So I want to make sure I understand it. You said you walked away? Or you said he walked away initially? I was by my tubes. Okay. So you don't remember him walking away from your tubes? I do not. You don't remember him turning his back to you? I do not. Your group. I do not. You remember the blonde person, the blonde woman come over though, right? Yes. Okay. And do you remember Mr. Mew walking over to her? You remember that? Well, I do not. Crowder, I'm going to object to the uh, comments that are coming from the defense table. You're yeah. obviously getting... Hold on, hold on. Please, gentlemen, it's late in the day. We're tired. I just want to have a clean Q&A. Please keep the side conversations, the table talk to yourself. That's where I'm going to end it. So I'm sure you guys know that I'm editing out all the pauses and any other boring things that happen to go on throughout the trial. But attorney Schmiestead was just complaining about the other defense attorney mumbling loudly. And I assure you that none of his mumbling was audible enough for me to leave in. If any of it were audible, I would have definitely left it in. So, Mr. Wire, I'm going to show you, we're going to start this at uh, 51 seconds, okay? And I'm going to stop it and just see if that maybe that does anything in terms of helping you remember anything, okay? Who is this? Yes! 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 Burn the, burn the culture! Burn the culture! Who is that? So you see Mr. Mew walking away from your group, moving over toward the blonde person, the woman, right? Yes. Okay. And at that point, are you still scared? Uh, when more people, adults start to come, I, I felt a little bit more secure. Okay. You agree that when he walks over toward the blonde, you guys can pass on by, right? Yes. Don't you want to get away from it? Um, yes. So passing on by would be a way to get away from him, yes? Yes. But you don't. Your group stays, right? We stayed there, yes. Yeah, and you stay, right, because you see this woman coming over and she's giving it to him, isn't she? She's yelling at him. She's telling him to leave. Right, she's telling him to leave, but you agree you just could have left, right? Yes. Okay. And I think you said this, you're becoming, as the numbers increase, your fear level is decreasing, right? Because there were adults and I was a kid, yes. So the answer is the more people that show up, 
the less fearful you're becoming. Yes. Okay. And you're, would you agree that your confidence is rising as well? I would mock your honor the relevance. I don't understand the question. But. Sustained. Your confidence in the situation, in terms of what's going on, it's, you're becoming more confident in your position there, right? Same, same objection. Sustained. Line up if you have questions. Oh, okay, Judge. That's all right. Thank you. Do you feel safer? With more people around? I feel it's safer with the adults around, yes. Okay. And <clears throat> with the adults around, does your behavior to Mr. Mew change? Um, Go for it. Alex. Yes. It, become, it becomes more taunting, right? Uh, becomes less fearful. Okay, well, to sh do you show signs that you're becoming less fearful? Uh, yes. Okay, and you do that by taunting him, right? Um, yes. Okay, you, do you remember this? There's a point where your group is kind of around him. You're all pointing at him in his face, calling him a predator, right? You remember that? Uh, I remember that people had called him that, yes. And, he, and that happens after these other people come over, right? Yes. Okay. So once you see, and then tell me if I'm right, there's about four or five people initially that come over, right? I, I do not remember how many people came over. Okay. Uh, so I just want to show you what has been marked as exhibit number 105 and we can show you, can you tell me, uh, do you re is there a picture next to kind of a diagram there? Yeah. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And in that picture, can you tell the jury if you recognize, what do you see there? Uh, I see Nikolai, I see Isaac, yeah, I think that's Ryan. Ryan Nelson? Um, in those swim shorts, I think that is. I, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. It, is it fair to say those are the, some of the guys that you're, minus Mr. Mew, they're some of the guys that you're with, right? Yeah, that's tubes as well. Okay. And your tube, there's pictures of your tubes there, some of them? Yes. Okay. To the right of that, um, you would see where it says G1 and then there's a G2. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And if I tell you that the blue M stands for Mr. Mew, um, and these initials are the people in your group, okay? Okay. Do you think that that is, in this particular picture, a fair estimate of where people are? For example, Mr. Schumann's in front of Mr. Mew, Mr. Nelson is over to the side, like you mentioned. Is that a fair and accurate representation? Uh, it seems roughly correct, yes. Okay. And so I guess I would move 105. Any objection? Well, I get an objection, Your Honor, and I'm looking at it. And, uh, well, what's the what's the objection? Our analysis listed twice. It's not accurate. So the objection is it's foundation. Foundation. It's it's not the evidence. Just the opposite. Do you want to clean it up with them? So, Mr. Weyer, in terms of making sure I have it right. Mr. Nelson was um, labeled twice. What wasn't labeled on there, if you can take a look at it, we've changed it. You were with a gentleman by the name of Owen Pellicoy, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and he's now written in there. He wasn't written in there before, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So now, with the change of changing Ryan Nelson twice to now adding Mr. Pellicoy, does that appear to be a fair and accurate representation? If LM is me, yes. My last name starts with a W, though. Understood. They have been getting your name wrong, so. But otherwise, it's a fair and accurate representation. No objection? No. Received. Uh, what was the number again? I'm sorry, what, the exhibit is 105. Tip. 105? So, Mr. Weyer, at, at one point where um, and you, you, I guess I'll ask it to you this way. You hear the blonde, uh, her name is Madison Cohen. She comes over and she's, 
uh, you describe her as being in Mr. Mew's face, right? She was standing by him in front of Sorry? her. She was standing in front of his face, yes. Right. You use the description in his face, yes? If that's what I said. Yes. Okay. And to you, does in his face mean she's kind of in his personal space? It just means in his face, face to face. And during the time that she's, that Miss Cohen's doing this, Mr. Mew's not reacting in any type of violent or aggressive way, right? He's standing yelling at him. He's standing in front of her, not doing what she's asking him to do. In a non-violent, aggressive way. Yes. And when you guys surround him and start calling him predator and pedophile, what's the purpose of that? Um, he said something about a little girl, so with him being a grown man, that's, he said something about little girls, so that had us feeling like he, that had us feeling like he was a predator. So you felt like he kind of deserved it, right? I felt like we were saying that because of what he said. Was that captured on video by chance? I don't believe so. So what? Other than your statement today, there's no other recording or, re or written documentation of that happening, right? No. As you see Madison Cohen and the other woman, um, Riley Martin, as you see them in his face or in front of him, as you described, um, that's you, right? Yes. Okay. And this is... If you remember, seconds before, you, moments before Madison Cohen, you say you see her punch you, right? This is before um, I saw her get punched, yeah. Okay. You look like, that's Juwan Cockfield holding the camera, right? Yeah. Okay. You look like you're looking at him. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. And do you recall, are you guys like looking at each other laughing about just what's happening? Uh, I, I don't necessarily know what we're laughing about or looking at each other, just looking at each other. Okay. You're not sure why you're laughing though, right? That's what you just said? For the specific reason, no. Okay. All right. You're not, is it fair to say at this point, you're not looking at Mr. Mew or Miss Cohen? True? Yes. That's true. Yes. Okay. One. If I told you right there, the group move, moves forward, uh, and there's been information that that's the point where Mr. Mew strikes Miss Cohen. Would that be fair? Do you, would you recognize that as that that's the timing? Um. I don't know, I, I can't see. Okay, well, we'll play it a little more. Right, and now you see Mr. Mew going down, right? Yeah. Okay, so you believe the woman who's in the front here with holding the, the alcoholic beverage, she's the one that gets hit. Yes? Um, the other person. I, I can't remember, I, did, I was behind her, so I just knew she had blonde hair. You're behind her, and you were looking at Juwan Cockfield, right? I was looking at Juwan before he struck her. Okay. What I want to know is, can you say whether or not that blonde woman in this picture is the person that you saw get struck? I would think that's her if that's the only girl with blonde hair that was in it, talking to him right before. Well, there's another woman in the picture as well. See her leg there? Yes. Got two on it? She had blonde hair as well. You can't ask me questions, but what I can do is just say whether or not you can pick out which one of those two people was struck. I can't, I, I don't know which one it was. Okay. Do you know how she was struck? Just remember him striking her. I don't exactly know how. Which hand? Um, I don't remember. I believe it was the right 
Okay. And do you know where on her body she was thrown? Her face. Okay. Uh, there's been various demonstrations as to how that happened, meaning what type of punch it was. How would you describe it? I don't remember. I just remember him striking her. And you, I think you said she went down, right? That's what I thought I remembered seeing, yeah. That you, that you saw her fall to the ground? I thought she fell to the ground, yeah. Okay. And do you, did you, do you think that because that's what you saw? Yeah. Okay. You'd agree that blonde girl right there, she's got a drink in her hand, right? You see that? She has a drink in her hand, yes. Yeah, you see the uh, cell phone in her swim top? See that? Yes. Okay. And she looks like she's yelling, right? Speaking, doing something? Her mouth is open, yeah. You're saying that you saw her fall down? I don't remember exactly which girl it was. It was the girl with blonde hair. I was behind her. So I don't know if that's exactly the... But what you're certain of is one of them fell. One of them for sure got striked, and I thought they fell to the ground, yes. Okay. And then you describe to officers as a bunch of guys came and got on him, right? That, that's how you use the descriptive. Right? That's what I said, yes. Okay. So you see him get... I, I, I saw him get punched, yeah. Okay. And then you say a bunch of guys came and got on him, right? What would you mean by that? I just saw people flock towards him after the woman got striked. <clears throat> Did you see anything else after that? After he went down? After he went down, then I started seeing people who were stabbed. You saw people stabbed after he went down? After he went down, got up, then I seen, I just saw people stab. Did you see him struck while he was on the ground again? I did not. Did you see him get struck when he was being pushed in the back? I don't remember. Okay. Did it appear to you that he was getting the worst of this? He was getting beat up? I remember that he, after he punched somebody, who somebody came and punched him. All right, I, I get that. My question is, when you say a bunch of guys came and got on him, are you saying that you believed he was getting beat up? I believe that people went towards him after he had already struck somebody. And were beating him up? I saw him get punched. I didn't see anything. After that, it was a commotion. Okay. Now, you said that you were close enough. You got close enough to Mr. Mew that he could have hurt you, right? Um, yes, I was standing feet away from him. Okay, he didn't hurt you, right? No. And you didn't you didn't touch him at all, did you? Uh, during when he was standing over there, no. Like, what, at any point, do you put your hands on Mr. Mew? No, I never touched him. Okay. And so he never touches you, does he? He touched me earlier on. I mean, he never touches you in a way that causes you any injuries? I never got injured, no. Okay. okay. Sure, I don't have any questions for you. Thank you for your time, sir. Mr. Smith, Dan. Just a couple, Judge. Oh. Why did, did you ever call Mr. Mew a raper at any time and you had this interaction with him? I, I don't remember specifically saying anything, but I do remember hearing things on the video. People. Uh, I, I want to ask you exactly what you remember yourself saying. Do you remember yourself ever calling a predator? Uh, no. Do you remember other folks in your group? I remember hearing people say it, yes. Right. Did you ever call him yourself a pedophile? Sorry, what? Did you ever yourself call him a pedophile while this was going on? Not that I remember. Were other people in your group calling him a pedophile? I just remember someone calling him something along the lines of um, that pedophile, yes. Um, they asked you about the blonde girl falling down. Um, as you sit here today, is that something you remember happening or is that something you think might have happened? 
I remember her getting struck, and I, I thought she fell to the ground from what I remember. That, that, is that your recollection of the event? Yes. Mr. Trofsky asked you about your statement to the cops that a bunch of guys got on him. Um, do you know how many guys got on Mr. New after he fell in the river? No, I just remember as soon as she got punched, several guys you know, took were any of those guys people from your group? No. All right. Nothing else. Is there a trophy? No. All right. Thank you, Mr. Wire. You may step down. <clears throat> we see the witness coordinator in the back. She'll give you further instructions about where to go. So day two was quite an eventful day. I believe they had like six witnesses, and I only skipped the first one. And now that I've heard several of the testimonies from these kids... I just can't understand this senseless violence, you know? Why did Mr. Mew decide to gut all these kids? I mean, all they were doing was trying to have a good time, bro. These kids were just minding their own business, beating the crap out of an old man. And then that old man had to ruin everyone's fun by pulling out a pocket knife and actually tried to defend himself. I mean, what the hell was he thinking? Anyway, I'll be back soon enough with the uh, beginning of day three. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. If you sneak up behind her, you can get a quick sniff of her hair. 